أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أرحب بكم إلى هذه الحلقة التالية من سلسلة دراستنا الصرفية Welcome to the next episode of our lesson series on Sarf, Arabic morphology الموضوع The topic المضاعف Double letter verb مضاعف is taken from ضاعف he duplicated. Yudaifu, he is duplicating. Modaafatan, duplication. Modaifun, the one who duplicates. Modaafun, what have been duplicated? Daif, duplicate or double. La to daif, do not duplicate. Al modaaf means double letter verb. It is a verb that has a double letter in it. And these two letters are tied together, are tied together with Shadda. Fa'ala min al mudaaf, the grammatical nature of fa'ala, on the mudaaf. Ha'ilam, get to know. Anna fa'ala min al mudaaf, that's the grammatical nature of fa'ala on the mudaaf. Yati mustakbaluhu madmuman. The fa'ul fa'ili is expected. To take dumma in modari. In kana mutaaddiyan. If the verb in question is mutaaddi. Transitive verb. Now for instance. How do we know whether a verb is a transitive or not transitive or intransitive? Okay. Here is the logic. We have to use the verb with a name. Just a name. For instance. Let's take for instance. Madda zaydun. Madda zaydun. Zaydun has prolonged. The question is. What has he prolonged? In that case, Madda is Muta'addi, not Lazim. Madda, he prolonged. Yamuddu, he is prolonging. Shadda, he tied. Yashuddu, he is tying. Wayati maksuran, and the fa'ul fili is expected to take kasra in modaru, in kana lazman, if the verb in question is intransitive. Now, let's take for instance. Farwa. He ran away. He is running away. Farro Zaydun. Zaydun has run away. It's unlike Madda Zaydun. Zaydun has prolonged. What has he prolonged? But Farro Zaydun. Zaydun has run away. That sentence is very meaningful and perfect. So in that case, Farro is lazim. Then we have Shabba. Shabba means to become youth or youthful. Yashibu is becoming youth. Shabba. So he became youth. Yashibu is becoming youthful. Wal aglab. So Shabba Yashibu is also lazim. Wal aglab, the most predominant form, min masdarihi of it masdar, is that yu'tabar, the verb in question is to be considered, is to be observed, is to be taken into consideration. The lazim wal muta'addi. To know whether it is lazim or muta'addi. For you call, so it is to be said. The lazim, as regard the verb that is lazim, fu'ulan, that is the pattern to be used. If the verb is lazim. Now, for instance, mururan, mururan means passing by, which is the master of marra yamurru. Marra, he passed by. Yamurru, he is passing by. Mururan is the master. What will Mota Addi and the Mota Addi? The pattern is Fa'alan, just like other verb. Fatahan. Now, for instance, Maddan, prolongation from Madidan. Madidan. What's Mufa'ilihi? The subjective form of the verb. Yati Allah was me Fa'ilin, comes on the pattern. Fa'ilun. Now, madun, the one who prolongs. That is the dua. What's mufma fu'ulihi? The objective term of the name. Yati ala was the mufulin. Comes on the pattern mufulun. Just like other verb. Now, mamdudun. What have been prolonged? Mashdudun. What have been tied? Wal amru and the commandment. Minihu of the verb. In kana muta'addiyan, if the verb in question is muta'addi, transitive verb. Transitive verb. Yati madmuman wa mafutuhan. The fa'ul fili is expected. 
to either to take dumma or fatha now for instance madda yamuddu so the amr is mudda prolong mudda yadak ya akhi mudda yadak stretch out your hands mudda yadak stretch out your hands then we have malla yamallu malla malla means to be tired when something makes you tired so malla is mudaddi or something must make you make you to be tired malla he was tired yamallu he is tired so the amru is malla be tired wa in kana laziman and if the verb is lazim intensity yati makisuran aw maftuhan aw madmuman difaul fi'li as regard amru difaul fi'li is expected either to take kasra fatha or dumma now let's take for instance farra he ran away yafiru he is running away farra run away marra yamru marra marra needs to be bitter murur marara marara to shame marra needs to be bitter marra it was bitter yamru it is bitter so the amru is marra be bitter okay then we have marra yamru murra marra needs to pass by marra he has passed by okay the mudar is yamru he is passing by the amru is murra pass by marra ya marru means to be bitter when marra ya murru mururan means to pass by they are not the same marra ya marru means to be bitter and the mazdar is mararatan marra ya marru mararatan the amr is marra but marra ya murru which means to pass by the amr is mururan to be bitter marara to pass by mururan so when you have the prohibition of the verb mudaaf la tafirra do not run away la tamurra do not pass by la tamurra do not be bitter la tamalla do don't be tired la tamudda do not stretch can we still remember the nahayu and the amru are derived from mudaru so the nature of the mudaru must be their nature grammatical الشرح the explanation ياتي مستقبله مذموما يعني دفاع الفيل is expected to take دم in مضارع إن كان متأديا if the verb is متأدي وشذ it is very rare وشذ شذوز وشذ it is very rare very scarce ما جاء مذموما a verb whose فاء الفيل comes with دم in مضارع وهو لازم while the verb is lazim grammatically it is very rare now there are some exceptions to every principle so these are the exceptions now let's uh, okay for instance marra yamru mururan marra yamru mururan so this yamru and this lazim the foul feel is taking dumma karra yakuru karra means to return mana raja karra means to return Yakuru is returning. The master is kururan, kururan, returning. Habba. A habba is the violent movement of a breeze. Habba. When the breeze moves from one place to the other violently, is described as habba. Habba yahubu. It is moving violently. Hububan moving. Violently, what moves violently? The breeze. Habba. Is there habba teriyahuka fatani muha? Is there habba teriyahuka when your riyah, when your breeze moves violently? Fatani muha. Quickly take advantage of it, meaning don't lose your opportunity. Okay. Malla ya mulu, malla. Malla ya mulu, malla ya mulu means to be rolling on the ground. Malla ya mulu means to be tired, but malla ya mulu means to be rolling on the ground, perhaps as a result of sickness or pain. Malla he rolled on the ground. Ya mulu he's rolling on the ground. So the master is mallan, rolling on the ground. They are all lazim. Wayati maksuran, and the ayin of the fili is expected to take kasra in kana laziman. If this lazim now, kalla kalla needs to be litu. Yekilu it is litu. كلتان يزي مصدر كلتان كلتان يعني 
وللمضاعف أحكام الثلاثة مضاعف has three principles أكون في الاسكولاس الأول من بوان أن يكون الحرفان متحركين أيضا the two letters are with vowel sounds أول أول ساكنا or the first letter is ساكن is vowelless the first letter is taking سكون وسان متحركا and the second letter is taking vowel vowel sounds وسان متحركا and the second letter is taking vowel sounds أيضا فتا كسرة ودمة فيجب الإدغام in that case it will be compulsory or necessary to put the first letter in the second letter to put the one that is taking sukun in the one that is taking haraka that is taking vowel sound now for instance madda is taken from madida madida بخلاف الالحاكيات beside the ilhakiyat the associate verb بخلاف beside the الالحاكيات the associate verb now جل بابا So bound, bound, there are two bound here, but both are motaharic. Both are motaharic, they are having vowel sound. So in that case, we leave it like that. Jali Baba means he put on gown. Kore Dada means he knelt down. Kore Dada, he knelt down. Allah was the fa'alala. Kore Dada, you kore Dada, kore Dada ten. So it can answer, so there are two sinu here. It's also mudaf, but the two letters are motaharic. They are taking vowel sound. Ikeansa sa. Ikeansa means to shoot one's one's chest out while walking. Ikeansa sa means he shoot out his chest while walk walking. Like some people, some people they walk by pushing out their chests. Ikeansa sa. Inna hu mokeansa sa. Inna hu mokeansa sa. Okay, pele ya juzu ti hal idugam. So, Falaya Juzu, he had Idgram. In this case, Idgram is not applicable. Falaya Juzu, it is not permissible. He had Idgram to apply Idgram by putting the two letters in each other. No, it is not permissible. Very wise. Falaya Juzu, Idgram, I don't. It is not also permissible to apply Idgram. Fill our Zan in some patterns. Alleti tahatamil iltibas that may lead to confusion. When the idigam is applied, it will lead to confusion. Eltebas. Iza udigima piha. When the idigam is applied. Now, let's take for instance, like sokakun. It has two letters that are the same. Sokakun. Sokakun is the mother of sokka. Sokka. Sokka yasoku sokakan. Sokka means to have a kind of teeth. That are well arranged. Someone who has a kind of teeth that are well arranged. We say Sokka Zaydun. It means Zaydun had a kind of teeth that are well arranged. So the master of Sokka is Sokka Kun. Sokka Kan. Sokka Yasoku Sokka Kan. Okay, Sururun is the germ of Sarir. Bed. The germ is Sururun. We must not apply idgam to any of these ways. Okay, talalun. A talal means a debris of an old house. Talal, a debris of an old house. Or a debris of a ruined house. Talal. The jam is atalal. Atalal. Who are you going to talal? Okay, talal means jeni umabakia. All that remain men are far from the traces. A door of a house. Jemi Uma Bakia, all that remain, men are far from the traces. A door of a house. Simple, simply put, a debris of an old house or a ruined house. Okay, then we have Jadadun. Jadadun. Jadadun means a flat ground. Jadad. A flat ground. Or a right path. What will matter? It is said in matter, Arabic adverb. Man salak al jadada. Whoever follows a straight path. Man salak al jadada. 
whoever walks, walks on a flat ground that has no gallop, that has no pits, Amin al such a person would be secured from hurting his leg. Amin al such a, pe a person would be secured from hurting his leg. Man salaka al jadada, Amin al Ifara. Wala yudigan, none of those words should be assimilated, or none of those letters should be assimilated to the other, meaning it again should not be applied. Hatta la yultabasa, in order not to be taken as a result of confusion, as sokku. Sokku means check. Sokku, check. Siru, siru, secrets. Tallu means deal, D-E-W, deal. It's a kind of weak ring. Wajadun, Jadun means grandfather, or Jadun means might. Once we turn Sakak to Sakun, it becomes Saku. Or Suru to Siru. Or once we apply it gram to Talal, it becomes Talu. Or once we apply it gram to Jadad, it becomes Jaddu. There will be confusion. So in that case, it gram must not be applied to any of them. Warin al Mudaf, among the Mudaf, May Yal Hakul Ibdal Kakaulihim are those are those that are affected or that are affected by Ibdal. Kakaulim that like they are saying I'm lay to. I'm lay to means I have dictated to dictate dictation in law. I'm lay to I have dictated. Well, actually, the origin of the word is amalality from amalla. Amalla means to dictate. The Quran says, Falyatu. So let him write. Well, humbly and let him dictate. Allah the alayhi haku, the one who has the right on his shoulder. Amalaltu. Okay, the lamb, for kulibat al The last lamb was transmitted. To Yaun. The last lamb was transmitted to Yaun. The fickle ishtima il mithlaini. The fickle, because of the heaviness, ishtima il mithlaini of coming together of the two same letter. Another one is hajaitu. From hajaitu, hajaitu. That is ibdal. Ibdal. Ibdal means replacement. To replace a letter with another letter. That is Ibdal in Sarfu. Wabihatfi al harf al ahir. It can also take place by cancelling or by omitting the last letter. Motlakon absolutely. Like zol, Zolta. Well, Aslu, the origin was Zolita from Zolla. Zolla can become Zolta. Takfif or Corona. From Korra, well, actually the origin was Koririna. Korra. Korra means to become. To become. Korra to Korra to Ain. The coolness of the eye. To become. Subhanak Allahumma bihamdik ashadu Allah ilaha illa ant. Astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk. Ma salama wa illa liqayna akhar.